Are your Google ads not converting? That sucks, and I'm sorry. But in this video, we're gonna talk about why that might be the case, and I'm gonna help you troubleshoot some of the more common reasons why this happens. The first thing we're gonna do before we get into diagnosing why your Google ads aren't converting is to define the word converting, because people get really hung up on this one. And so there's two real ways we use the word converting. The first one is traffic converting into a lead, which is what we're gonna talk about in this video, meaning people click on your ad, they go to your website or landing page, and they become a lead. That's that's what we're talking about when I mean conversion. We're not talking about converting them into a sale. If you don't know me, we run a real estate marketing agency and coaching program. So sometimes we refer to converting as when you actually get a client. Now in this video, we're going to talk about nine reasons why your Google ads might not be converting into a lead. Let's dive straight into the content of this video because I'm excited about it. At Agent Launch, we spend over half a million dollars a month on Google ads. So we see the good, bad, and the ugly. And the way we set things up these days, you know, we don't really have to worry about these issues because we've mitigated them. But for a lot of people, that follow my DIY tutorials, they do run into some of these issues just because they don't know how to troubleshoot. So that's what this video is going to be about. And if you are new here and you haven't seen some of my tutorials, I'd recommend watching those first. I just launched a new Google Ads tutorial a couple months back talking about a general Google Ads campaign. And then we just recently launched a couple weeks ago, Google Ads Performance Max campaign. I'll link down to those in the description if you want to check those out first. But let's get into the nine reasons why your Google Ads may not be converting traffic into leads in this video. The first reason is it's very simply could be too early. A lot of people, they get really excited about Google ads. They follow my tutorial, they follow the process, and then they actually go live with their ads and they realize, where are my leads? Sometimes it takes Google a minute to just figure it out. In a lot of cases in our ad accounts, the way we set them up, you're gonna start generating leads within a few hours. But in some cases, Google just likes to drag their feet. And I don't have a good explanation for that, especially in a new ad account that can happen. So just be patient. And if you do follow our tutorials to a T, you shouldn't have this issue, but if you do have this issue, it's nothing to panic about. Sometimes you just need to give it some time. Sometimes you need to just duplicate your campaign and try again. Duplicate it, go live with it. I've had that in cases sometimes where it just works. Does it make sense? Nope, doesn't really make sense, but nothing's perfect. So that's the first thing. The second thing is your expectations might be too high. Google ads take time. And so don't have the highest expectations of converting leads into sales right away. Don't have the highest expectations of everything to work swimmingly right out of the box. Expect there to be hurdles, expect there to be challenges. There's things usually to work through, especially if you're trying to DIY this. Obviously at Agent Launch, we do this for our clients. We have a very big done for you program, but if you want to DIY this and do it yourself, you can definitely do that, but expect that you're gonna run into hurdles along the way. Don't expect to be like me, who's run millions and millions and millions of dollars through Google Ads platform. That takes years of experience and time to be able to do it as efficiently as maybe I can or my team can. So just don't set your expectations too high. You might watch my tutorial and I might make it seem easy. Maybe Maybe I make it seem complicated. I don't know. But either way, you're going to have things break. You're going to have things go wrong. Just expect that. Number three is the most common one, which is your conversion tracking is just broken. So you always want to measure leads on how many leads you actually get in your CRM, not how many leads Google tells you. Ideally, the two align and they should align. So if you have Google says you have three leads, you have three leads in your CRM. Great, your conversion tracking is working, nothing to diagnose. I'm not gonna get into this video on how to set up conversion tracking. I have other tutorials on my channel for that. You can also just Google it because it depends on what website you have. So generally speaking, conversion tracking is a piece of code that goes on your website or landing page and that is also in your Google Ads account and it connects the two so they can talk to each other. So when the ad account runs an ad and sends traffic to your landing page and that person fills out your form comes a lead that will feed that data back to the ad account to say, hey, we know that that person converted into a lead. Great. A lot of times that breaks. So I'm not going to get into how to do that. But if you have a specific website platform, look up how to do that with that specific website platform. For our niche, real estate, our clients often use Real Geeks, Chime, KB Core, and they're different. Real Geeks, you take the code from the ad account, the conversion tracking code, and you send it to Real Geeks, they install it in the back end. Sometimes they screw it up. So you got to make sure it works after they do it, right? Sometimes they do it right. They usually do it right for us these days, but it's not 100% success rate. KB Core, you take that code and you install it in the back end of KB Core yourself. So it depends on the platform, but oftentimes this is the problem, is your conversion tracking isn't set up properly, and therefore your ad account has no idea what clicks are converting into leads. So it doesn't have any data to work with. It's really important to get this set up right. Fourth thing is your location targeting isn't correct. This is a big, 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 big mistake. And it's one of those things with Google Ads where you can turn one little knob the wrong way and it can throw everything off. So there's really two types of location targeting. 
And this is what makes Google Ads unique. There's presence targeting or presence or interest targeting. So presence targeting is similar to what Facebook ads does, which is you run ads to people in a geographic region. In Google Ads case, it's you run ads to people in a geographic region who are searching for certain keywords and you target them based on that. Presence or interest targeting means people, they're either in your area searching for your keywords or they're out of your area searching for your keywords. So let's give a very easy example. If you are targeting homes for sale in Seattle, Washington, if someone in Mongolia searches for homes for sale in Seattle, Washington, and you have your targeting set to presence or interest, that person in Mongolia will very likely in some cases see your ad. So you have to be mindful of that. If you don't want leads from out of country or even out of state in some cases, you should use presence targeting. What I like to do is usually just do a national campaign. Say you're in Seattle, I would target all of the United States, but the keywords I would target are just Seattle keywords or Bellevue or whatever area you're in. So I would say target all of the United States. If you're in Seattle, you might wanna target Canada too. And then I would do anyone searching for Seattle homes, condos, land, acreages, luxury, waterfront, whatever you want. You have to align those things. And I'll get into that later about keywords not aligning. But basically in some cities, there's a lot of immigration. So targeting other countries can be a very positive thing. And we've seen that work really well. In some cases, you may not find that's where you're getting the majority of your clients from. So you just have to be mindful of your location targeting. The way we find successful, like for example, in Canada, for all of our Canadian clients, Canada made a new rule where there's a foreign buyer ban because prices have gotten so crazy. So why would we target people out of country when there's a foreign buyer ban? We just wouldn't do that. So all of our Canadian clients, we only target domestic traffic now, right? So that's an example of when you use presence targeting and you could just target presence targeting your city if you just want local traffic. But a lot of times the best leads you get are from people that are within country, but out of state or out of city. So I would target all of Canada or all of US and then just people searching for homes in Seattle, right? But make sure in this case, if you don't have keywords like homes for sale, because if you target all of the US and you target keywords homes for sale, you're going to get anyone in the US searching homes for sale, which is not targeted. So you need to make sure those things all work together perfectly. And in my tutorials, I talk at length about this. The fifth reason, it's a seasonal dip and you're overreact. So in a lot of cases, Christmas, summer, there's times when people go away, stop thinking about, in our niche anyway, stop thinking about buying houses, people disconnect for the holidays, for example, and there's seasonal dips. There's always a bit of a dip in traffic in December. You know, if you're in a super, super cold place, people look for real estate less in the dead of winter. There's parts of Canada that are like minus 30 degrees in winter. People aren't buying houses as much as they are in summers. <laughs> so you're going to expect natural dips. Google ads is a supply and demand market, meaning you're bidding on keywords that people are searching for. So when people search for keywords less, the inventory goes down, prices sometimes go up, right? When people are searching more, inventory goes up, prices sometimes go down because advertisers don't react as quickly as the market shifts, right? People usually don't even react at all. So you just have to expect your lead cost is going to fluctuate throughout the year, okay? The next thing is your budget is too low. We talked about this in our sales training call last week at Agent Launch, actually, and I think this is a big problem. In the early days of me teaching people Google Ads, we did recommend recommend what I now think are too small of budgets. And the reason is when you have a really small budget, you're not generating enough opportunities to focus on the good ones. You tend to focus on the bad ones because the reality is if you run any kind of online advertising, you're going to get a lot of fake information, bad leads. And the idea is that you generate enough of them that you focus on the good opportunities because they're there. And so one thing that tends to happen is your budget's too low. You're not getting enough conversions. Google can't figure out who is your ideal target audience because you're not spending enough to give it up data. It takes too long to get that data. In some cases, your ads might not even serve. Your, your ads might not even run because your budget's too low. So try increasing your budget. You should at least be spending $10 a day in a campaign. We usually recommend our clients spend $50 a day or more. Number seven, your landing page is not optimized. This is a big problem. Landing page optimization is a whole industry. You need to be split testing your landing pages. If you work with us, we'll just tell you which ones work. If you work with one of our recommended website providers, Real Geeks, Sierra Interactive, Chime, your Google ads will generally convert really well. 
if you just run ads to the IDX search result page. If you want to use a landing page, now a landing page is more like we do this for developers, people selling pre-construction, where we build a landing page where it's like, hey, fill out this form to get access to over 50 new developments in the greater Seattle area. That would be a landing page. We have a formula for this. We build these pages for our clients when it makes sense for them. Now, you need to split test that. We've done this work. We've done the split testing, right? This is why you pay experts, generally speaking. Your landing pages may not be optimized. And the biggest problem I see in our niche in real estate is you're not using the right website provider. If you're using KB Core, for example, it's slow, it's clunky. You know, everyone I've ever worked with who used KB Core moved off it, didn't regret it because it just works better. KB Core is like a jack of all trades, generally. Real Geeks, Chime, Sierra will convert Google Ads traffic better. They just will. We have the data. Like we sit on years and years and millions of dollars of spend worth of data. Number eight is your ad copy needs work. You're not thinking through the psychology of your ad copy, right? I have a Google Ads cheat sheet. If you watch my other tutorials, you might have it already, but I have a Google Ads cheat sheet. Drop a comment below and I will get you a copy of that if you want. That will give you a guide on keywords. Your ad copy often needs work, but my cheat sheet will give you a keyword guide for your ads, for your copy, all that so you can get an idea. But you need to work on how you're presenting the data to people in text on Google Ads, especially you need to be saying the right things. You need to be highlighting the city. You have very limited words to do it. So you need to think through the psychology of what someone's searching for and what you're delivering to. Number nine is your keyword intent is misaligned. If you're targeting condos for sale downtown Seattle, and then you're showing people farmhouses when they click on the ad, that's a good reason why your ads aren't converting. If you're going to run an ad targeting Seattle condos for sale, you better be targeting just the keyword Seattle condos for sale and limiting it just to that, right? With like phrase match. So only targeting condos for sale. You want to, in your headline of your ad, right? Seattle condos for sale, search all con downtown condos for sale in Seattle, blah, blah, blah. And then your landing page should have just condos. And you need to test this. Those things need to be in alignment. Those three things, the keywords, the ad copy, and the landing page copy all need to line up. If they don't, you're not giving people what they expect and therefore they're probably not going to convert. Those are nine reasons why your ads may not be converting. And like I said, download my PVC cheat sheet, leave a comment. I'll get you a copy of that if you don't have it already. That'll give you some guidance on the keywords, all that stuff. If you want to work with Agent Launch, check out agentlaunch.com slash apply. You can apply to work with us where we do all this for you and coach you on it as well so you can self-manage later. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching again and I'll see you in the next one.